if it tastes good. <laughs> That's the big thing, if it tastes good. And we're going to find that out right now. And so, here we go. All right. Windy City Sauce. Chicago Hot Dog Sauce. Let's see what this is. What is up, everybody, and welcome to this week's Taste Test Challenge. This week, I'm doing another Chicago type of themed Taste Test Challenge. I've been seeing ads for this stuff here. It's called Windy City Sauce. Now, for those of you that know, a Chicago hot dog, the way a Chicago hot dog is made, it's a Vienna beef hot dog, and then on the hot dog itself is uh, mustard, relish, onions, celery salt, tomato, dill pickle, and sport peppers. That's what a Chicago dog is, and it's on a poppy seed bun. Now, what I have here, I do have a Vienna beef hot dog. I do not have the poppy seed bun because you can't get those down here in Florida without ordering them from somewhere. But I do have a Vienna beef hot dog. And what this sauce is, it takes, it's a combination of the mustard, relish, tomato, pickle, celery salt, and peppers all mixed into one sauce that you can put on a hot dog and it will create the flavor of a Chicago dog. Now, <laughs> I've been seeing ads for this all over the place on all different types of social media. It says, Windy City Sauce, Chicago style hot dog sauce is what it says. And if you look at the color of it, it kind of looks like it has the relish and the mustard and the pickle and the tomato and all that stuff kind of mixed in there all together. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> and I thought about doing this two different ways. I was going to go to the store and buy, buy the onion and the tomato and the pickles and make my own Chicago hot dog and then opposed to doing it like this. But I decided against that because... I already know what the Chicago hot dog is going to taste like if I make it myself with all the actual ingredients. I wanted to try this on its own to see how close it actually comes to all the toppings being together on the hot dog. Now, you're not going to have the big, huge mess, you know, like when you got to open your mouth wide to get the tomatoes and the hot dog and all the toppings on it because this is just a sauce. But with that being said, this test is going to be about the flavor of the sauce that's here. So, I just made this hot dog. I'm not sure if you're supposed to shake this up or not. It doesn't say anything on here. But I'm going to shake it up. I just ripped open the uh, top because I had to cut it. But it is, it is a full bottle. Okay. Smell the mustard, smell the pickle. Yeah, that's about what I smell. I smell the mustard and the pickle. All right, well, let's see. Whoa. Wow, that came out awfully quick. <laughs> I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. Okay, now, normally when I have a Chicago hot dog, I do not get the peppers on it because I really don't like the sport peppers. But this is, this is inside it. It's mixed in with it, so it's going to have to be what it is. Very runny. I, I didn't think it would be that runny. It's very loose. Almost like a, kind of like a somewhat of a thick watery type of thing. I mean, that came out of there really quick. I wasn't expecting it to come out that quick. But it's got that, it's got that smell of a Chicago dog. It's got the, the mustard and the pickle. And it looks like, looking at it, it looks like there might be like a little chunk of tomato right there. And it's got the green color, which is, you know, probably a mixture of the uh, relish and the dill pickle. And it's got the yellow, which is the mustard. And I'm sure the onions are chopped up in there and the celery salt and all that kind of stuff. So, here we go. <laughs> I actually kind of hope this is good because... If I remember it, this wasn't really all that expensive to order. And if this is good, it will save a lot of time 
and stuff of going to the store and getting the onions and the pickles and the tomatoes, you know, every time you want to make a Chicago hot dog, you got it right here in a bottle in your fridge. So, you know, if you want to just randomly pull a hot dog out of thing, you know, you're not going to have to run to the store and buy all the separate ingredients because, you know, if you buy all the ingredients once, let's say you're having hot dogs tonight, you buy all the ingredients once, if you don't use them all, you pretty much have to use them in the next couple days or they're going to go bad. Where this can sit in your fridge for, you know, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, weeks, you know, maybe even, you know, a month or two, and you got a Chicago hot dog right here in your fridge anytime you want, if it tastes good. <laughs> That's the big thing, if it tastes good. And we're going to find that out right now. So, here we go. All right. Windy City Sauce, Chicago hot dog sauce. Let's see what this is. Hmm. You know what? That does have all the flavors in there. Run around my tongue a little bit. Okay. It does have all the flavors in there. However, they are not all very strong. You know how when <clears throat> when you have the actual toppings on the pizza as you're chewing it on the pizza on the hot dog. When you have the actual toppings, the actual diced onions and the relish and the tomato and the pickle, as you're chewing it and biting into each individual one, you get that real strong flavor of that individual item as you're chewing it all together and mixing it all together. Now, like I said, the flavor is there for all of them. I can pretty much taste all the flavoring, but it's very subtle and very weak. It's very mildly blended together. It is there, but it's very mild. Yeah, I mean, it does make it... It does make it the flavor of a Chicago hot dog, but you don't get the big... <laughs> The big strong flavor and the fun and joy of chewing all the individual ingredients on it. It's kind of, I think if this, if this sauce would have been made a little bit thicker and not so runny and kind of had, instead of, I'm guessing they blend it somehow, instead of blending it to be that thin, maybe don't blend it as much, maybe make it a little bit thicker. So it's maybe kind of a little bit more chewier. I think that would have been really good. But the flavor is there. The fun of eating a Chicago hot dog with all the toppings on it and everything is not there, <laughs> which is one of the good one of the fun things about having a Chicago hot dog because you gotta, you know, rearrange the tomatoes and the pickle and get them all in there so that when you bite into it, you get all the ingredients. But the flavor is there. Just not as strong as if you had the actual ingredients on top. So with that being said, I mean, I would, I would recommend this. If, you're, if you don't want to go out and buy the onions and the relish and the tomato and the pickles and all that kind of stuff to make yourself some Chicago hot dogs, and if you want to keep something in your fridge in case you want to pull a hot dog out and just make one real quick and drop the toppings on, I would recommend that. I would recommend it. It does have the flavor. It is there. And with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna judge this on the overall um, I guess flavor and experience on it, which it, it could have been a lot better. Like I said, I think if this sauce was a little bit thicker, it probably would have been a little bit better. But I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna go like 8.1 on this. The flavor is good. It, it's a little bit subtle. It's not as strong as like you know when you have the actual ingredients like I said
But yeah, I'm going to do an 8.1 on that. The flavor is there. Mm-hmm. You get the celery salt, the onions, the mustard, the relish, the tomato, the pickle. I can taste all that. I can taste all that in there. So the flavor is there. The flavor is there. It's just, you know, like I said, it's not as strong. But very good. It is very good, though. I would recommend have a, keeping a bottle of this. If you don't want to go out and buy all the ingredients to make yourself a Chicago hot dog, I would, I would recommend getting a bottle of this. It's uh, Windy City Sauce. I got it from, I think it's Zesty, Z-E-S-T-I, is where I got it from. So if you want to look it up, um, just look up Windy City Sauce. I'm sure it'll probably pop up in a search. And I got it from Zesty. I'm, I know that's where I got it from. I know that's the name of the company. But, yeah, it's it's not bad, guys. It's a good thing to have in your fridge. If you like Chicago hot dogs, that's a good thing to have in your fridge. If you don't want to go through the hassle of buying all the ingredients and putting all the ingredients on every time you pull out a hot dog. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, it's not bad. I've got a couple more hot dogs for dinner tonight, too. I'm not going to talk with my mouthful. <laughs> Alright guys. <clears throat> well, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment. I read every comment that I get. So leave me a comment on uh, what you thought of this video. What you think of this sauce. If you think you might buy a bottle and try it. If you have tried it, let me know. I'd like to know your opinion on it. But anyway, I would recommend this. I would recommend this. All right, guys. Excuse me. Well, that's it for this week's Taste Test Challenge. Come back next Tuesday for another Taste Test Challenge, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks, guys.